today we're at Hilton Head Chrysler looking at the 2012 Chrysler 300 SRTA. Chrysler 300 SRTA is powered by a new 6.4 liter Hemi V8 engine with track worthy 470 horsepower and 470 foot pounds of torque. Let's take a look at the front end on the SRTA. Now, as you're noticing here, the grill on the front. Chrysler calls it their brick gloss black front grille. It's got a really nice finish to it. You're also noticing you're gonna get these xenon headlamps. Give you a lot more lighting at nighttime when driving on the road and you get the LED lights in there as well. Fog lights on the bottom of the grille. And if you notice the little dots on the front bumper, that is your park assist for the front of the vehicle. Very nice feature to have, especially when you're in that safety realm that you need to use it. The Chrysler 300 SRT8 comes with a set of Goodyear Eagle tires. They're a 245-45 series tire with a 20-inch alloy wheel. It's a polished aluminum alloy wheel with the big brake upgrade with Brembo. Let's take a look at the rear end on the SRT8. What a good looking rear end it is. The first thing we're gonna notice is our tail lights. They're LED tail lights. I'm telling you folks, LED tail lights are nice because they're a lot brighter and it's also LEDs for the rear brake lights. So that's a good feature to have. Also a rear backup camera that sits right up there on the third brake light. You get a rear deck lid spoiler up top. Also in the back bumper, you're gonna see a couple little dots there. That is the rear backup sensors. So a lot of nice safety features on the rear of the SRT8. Let's listen to the exhaust and see how it sounds. All right, let's take a look in the rear of the SRT8. Got a little button right here you can push to open up the trunk, makes it a little easier for you. Wow, good amount of space in the back. Also, back seats fold down for a 40-60 split in the back. You get a nice carpeted mat that goes down here with a 300 logo. Also, a nice net to strap things in with. And you get little spots to hang grocery bags at on both sides. This is where the battery to the vehicle sits at. It keeps it cooler in the back and doesn't take up as much space under the hood. And you got a pump there for you too, so you can pump up some tires if one goes flat. Let's take a look at the Moroni label. Highway mile per gallon, 23. It says expected range for most drivers anywhere between 19 and 27. City is 14. Now remember folks, this is a Chrysler 300 SRT8 with a 6.4 liter engine. This bad boy will get up and go, but it does still get pretty decent gas mileage. All right, let's take a look at the interior, but before we do, I wanna to explain to you, we have the smart key. A couple different options this smart key does for you. You can open the trunk, you can crank the car with two clicks, you can lock and unlock, and as long as you have the key in your pocket or purse when you walk up to the vehicle, you can put your hand on the door, hit that button, and it unlocks the vehicle just like that for you, making things a little bit simpler in life. Let's take a look at the door panel. Carbon fiber inlaid, suede inserts on your door panels with leather, nice looking stitching on there for you. Power windows, power door locks, and power mirrors. You also get memory seats. Let's take a look at the seats in the vehicle. Napa leather on the interior. These seats are very comfortable to sit in. They're very soft and supple. You also have active head restraints, protect your neck from whiplash. 
Got the SRT logo stitched into the seat. Then you got your suede inserts with the perforated holes in it. Keeps it breathing, stays cooler because you do have heated and cooled seats in this vehicle. Also power seat options with power lumbar supports. Now we're sitting in the cockpit of the vehicle. Let's go ahead and crank it up again. Now as long as that key's in your pocket or purse, you push your foot down on the brake and you can press the start stop engine button. Cranks up the vehicle for you nice and quickly. Let's take a look at the steering wheel. Leather wrapped, very comfortable. Maybe you're curious what the horn sounds like. I'm gonna honk it for you for just a moment. Got a nice sounding horn. You got some buttons here on the steering wheel. I'm gonna show you in just a moment with those control. But one thing I do like to point out is there's a lot of good spots to rest your hand. It's a nice grip for when you're maneuvering and handling with this vehicle. These gauges are really uh, nice to look at. Very sporty, easy to read as you can see. And that screen right there in the middle is controlled through these buttons. So if you want to scroll through different options, you can do it like vehicle speed, mile per hour, kilometers, things like that. Tire pressure monitoring system, trip info, you know, fuel mileage, reset. Really nice features there for you. The buttons on the right hand side of the steering wheel control your cruise control system. So not bad. Also noticing the paddle shifters on the interior of the steering wheel. The paddle shifters are a good feature for sport mode. For folks that like to do sportier driving, you can manually shift gears with the paddle shifters, up shifting and down shifting. Almost like a stick shift, you just don't have a clutch. The sport mode can also be controlled from right here at the shifter. Go left for down shifting, go right for up shifting. It's just that simple to use. It's a very nice feature. It makes driving a lot more fun when you're in one of those spirited, sporty moves. The fit and finish is very nice on the inside. The dash, everything lines up really good. I mean, look at it, beautiful. The stitching up there, got a nice clock here for you. So it's got a sporty but luxurious styling on the inside. Now your nav screen is a really cool screen. It's got a good size to it. And it's got a lot of features on it for you. Now if you're noticing at the top up there, it's dual climate control inside the vehicle. So that means you can change temperature on either side. As you can see, it's 60. Now I'm on low. Right now they're working at the same temperature, but you can change it on either side of the vehicle. As you can see, my presets for, uh, for the radio, like XM satellite, Sirius satellite radio, is right there. AM, FM satellite. The map is right there in the middle, and it's all touch screen. So you can just hit the screen and change different options. On the bottom here, you got radio, player, controls, climate, nav, phone, and more. Phone, nav, look at this, let's click on nav. It says, where do you wanna go? Or let's say like right now, I wanna just view the map. Pulls my map right up, so now you have the whole screen for the map. If you want to get out of it, you hit the arrow, and that's the back button. If I want to go back again, we can go back. But right now, we're going to go view map again. And uh, I like the view on it. Everything's really easy to read. As you can see here, you can zoom out just like that. There we have it. Show traffic map and traffic search so you can get real time traffic updating inside the vehicle. So that's really cool. Phone, no phone connected. Would you like to pair a phone? It's just that simple. You can pair your Bluetooth cell phone up right here with the car. Have the calls coming right through. Climate control, as you can see, heated and cooled seats, and that steering wheel. It'll heat up for you as well. So if you're up north and it's getting really cold, you can heat your steering wheel up. Very nice. Controls. There you go. Heated seat, vented seat, heated wheel, sport, 
and heated seat, vented seat for the passenger side. The X up top will take us out of that. Then go to player. That's right, you can load up music inside the vehicle. There's an SD card slot right there, and you can load music into the hard drive in the vehicle and play it right here in the car. Underneath, this is where you can control your climate control as well for your dual climate control, your fan speed, just like that. Volume for your radio, and tune and scroll is right there. The CD player is right underneath. Carbon fiber, okay, this is a sport model, folks. Carbon fiber is really nice on the inside. It's expensive, looks good. More storage in there, a 12 volt outlet. More storage right here, you can throw change in. Cup holders. You can control the cooled and heated seats from right here as well. Center armrest is leather. Opens it up. This is where your USB auxiliary port is sitting at, right there. It's got a little thing that goes over it, another 12 volt. You can put change in there. So a good amount of storage space in the inside of the SRT8. Very nice, very solid vehicle. Let's take a look up above. There's our rear view mirror. It has an auto dim feature on it. It's a good size. You got a spot to put your sunglasses right there. Interior lighting. These are the controls for your sunroof. Again, interior lighting. Home link for garage door openers. You can program them right there. Very nice. Again, the sunroof is huge. It, it all the way extends back to the uh, back seats back there. You can shut a vent on it and it will pretty much black out the roof for you. So at nighttime, if you wanna do some cruising or during the day, keep the sun out, it really does keep the sun out very nicely. Let's look at the vanity mirrors. Passenger side has the lights, and driver side has the lights. Let's take a look in the back. Now we're sitting in the back seats. I'm about six foot two inches tall, and I was just up front with my seat all the way back, and you can see here, I'm still fitting. Right there, I'm just barely touching the back of the seat. So you know, you got a good bit of leg room back here in the rear. Also, if I'm getting a little hot, I have my own controls in the back to get those fans blowing on me. And if I get a little cold in the winter, I can heat up the back seats. So that's also nice as well. Really nice layout on the back seats. Also getting a center armrest, leather wrapped. It's got cup holders right here for you. And it even opens up for a little bit of storage spot. Not bad at all. Thank you for watching this video today on the 2012 Chrysler 300 SRT8. We ask you to stop by our store. We're located right here at New River Auto Mall. And that's right, folks, we are Hilton Head Chrysler. Stop by and test drive this beautiful vehicle with us today. We'll talk to you soon.